Hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show and we have a special guest on today's show. Now I was on this man's show a few years ago and I want to return the favor and recently he uploaded a video about his credit card setup for 2022 and everyone seems to be doing these credit card <laughs> setup for 2022 videos. I did one, a few other people have done it. So anyway, without further ado, let's introduce Dustin from Waller's Wallet. How are you doing, man? I'm great, Ben. How are you doing, man? Thanks for having me on. I'm good. Yeah, thank you for coming on the show. I love your background. It looks really awesome. Thank you. A lot of work <laughs> went into it. <laughs> yeah, I need to do some upgrades myself. But anyway, um, let's get right into it. Yeah. So this is a video talking about uh, best credit card setups for 2022. I know you did a video talking about an awesome cashback uh, credit card setup because that's what you're focusing on right now. Right. Um, so why don't you yeah, take us through your setup? Yeah, my setup I think is pretty straightforward for people. So I run a mainly a cashback setup and I open credit card with further big bonuses. So cashback on the day to day. And then what I'll do is when a big bonus comes around, a Chase Sapphire Preferred or a City Premier, I'll wait or even the Capital One Venture X is what I'm currently working on. I open those. But for my day to day, I have a two and a half percent cashback card. I use the USAA Limitless card, which is no longer available. That's a military thing. Do you have to have been in the military to get that? So or? my dad was. So I'm a military. I'm the son of a military. Uh, my dad was in the military for 20 years. So I've been banking with USAA for well over a decade, and I've been using their credit cards for almost just as long. Okay, so that's your non-category card, I'm guessing. That, right? Yeah, two and a half percent cash back. It's no foreign transaction fees, no annual fee, chip and pin for international travel, which has saved me a lot. Mm. So it's a, really a workhorse for me. And USAA deposits the cash back rewards typically a day or two after the transactions post to your account. So I really like that too. Wow, that's nice. And you said it's unlimited at 2.5%? Unlimited, two and a half percent cash back. <laughs> Un that's awesome. Unlimited. <laughs> I remember they used to have the Alliant Credit Union Visa Signature and that was the same deal, but yep. then they changed it to maximum $10,000 spending a month. So it kind of It puts a it. damper for people, absolutely. It does, right. But you said this one is not available anymore, right? No, they took it down. So it was a pilot only for a while. I mean, it was only available for certain states and I found a workaround uh, in order to get it because I didn't live in those certain states. So okay. I, I'd made a workaround, I got it, and it's been in my wallet for the better part of four or five years, I think it is, and it, it's gonna stay there. Wow, okay, that's awesome. So, all right, so that's your uh, non-category card. Uh, then what's your next biggest category and what card are you using for that? Um, it would probably be groceries. And for groceries, we do kind of a mix. So my wife used to work at Target, so we got like a Target discount, so we stacked it with the Target red card. But she's no mm, longer cool. there, so we don't, we, use the city custom cash for 5% back. And that's pretty much just our main grocery card. 5% back, I see. no annual fee. It is limited up to $500 per, per statement per month. month. Uh, so we're, we're b between Target and City, we, we have it well-rounded with 5% back. So with the custom cash, you just gotta make sure that grocery is your biggest spending category that month in order for it to trigger the 5%, right? Correct, yes, and that's, only, that's the only place we use that. We don't use it for dining oh, or anything okay. else like that. So it is strictly groceries only for so, us. So there's no chance of you screwing it up and not. <laughs> <laughs> Very, hopefully zero chance that I would screw that up. <laughs> All right, so after grocery, then what have we got? What's the next category and what's the card? It would, it'd be gas, and for us, 5%, I get 5% cash back on gas with the USAA Cash Award Plus card. It is an American is Express. A, Pardon? That's a different card. Is that a different card? D to the different first? card, That's yeah. USA's got some card. solid okay. cards for some people. <laughs> so it's awesome. Five percent back up to three thousand dollars per year on gas spend. It is an American Express card and you can actually register for some third party American Express offers as well with it. So we use it mainly for gas. It's been really well for us and it it, it also has no foreign transaction fees, which is really nice. Now, before we talk about the next card, guys, if you are looking for a smartphone app to keep information about all your credit cards in one place, do check out the app Max Rewards, the sponsor of this video. They've been supporting our channel for a long time, guys. We really love them. But anyway, it's a super convenient app. It pulls information about all your different cards from different issuers, so your balances, your points and rewards balances, it gives you warnings on upcoming bills, etc. And if you have Max Rewards Gold, the premium version, it'll even activate your Chase Freedom rotating quarterly categories and your Amex offers 
for you so you never miss a deal. And you can get a free month of that with my link below, or you can just download it and check out the free features. All right, now let's hear about Dustin's next card. So for dining, I'm in between cards, but I will be using probably the US Bank Altitude Go at 4% back. So nice. I was I was a I was a platinum honors member with Bank of America, earning five and a quarters percent. Um, I have a video coming out at, at some point in the future oh, about why I cool. left them, but it was five and a quarter percent. We don't dine out too often, maybe a couple yeah. hundred dollars a month. So four percent for us will be great in the months that the Freedom Card, Freedom Flex, or the Discover it isn't earning five percent back. I see. Okay. Yeah. So then. On those months that the freedom earns it, you'll just be using the freedom. Absolutely. And with uh, with Bank of America, so I'm guessing you had some investment account with them, which gave you the platinum. Yeah, I had thing. rolled over a yeah. bunch of 401ks into some IRAs with them, and okay. I've mo recently moved my money all over to Vanguard. So I'd really consolidated accounts. Ah, okay. I had money all over the place, and if, if I died, my wife wouldn't even know where the money was going to be at. So I just <laughs> made it easier for her, made it easier for me. Uh, so it was a win-win oh, cool. across the board by doing the that. A responsible decision. Yes. But um, for those of you who don't know, that if you have, I think it's if you have over $100,000 in Bank of America, you get, is it 75% extra in the rewards? Yeah, you get a, so you have to have a three-month average of $100,000 in those accounts or more at which point you would get a 75% bonus on your credit card reward. So 3% turned into five and a quarter percent, the one and a half points per dollar turned into 2.63%. So for someone who bangs wow. with Bank of America or uses Merrill Lynch or Merrill Edge, it is a really solid program. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know, like for those of you, maybe a bit younger watching, you might think it's a big hurdle to reach, but once you're at about 30 or so, if you're yeah. saving for retirement, it's very realistic. A lot of people yeah. have that amount of money Cons in investments. Absolutely, consistently, just do it consistently and on a just keep going with it and you'll hit it. Yeah, yeah. And okay, so is there anything we're missing in this? Uh, I think there's a few more, right, or not? I think those are pretty much it. I mean, I have the target card, and then I just open new cards. That's kind of my, my maintenance for, for categories. And it's, I mean, I use, like, the, the Freedom Flex if it's, like, the PayPal category. And, I'll, okay. and I call it shift spend. So if I know there's a category I'm going to spend a lot on, I'll prepay that bill, for example, um, to make sure I'm getting the 5% back for an extended period of time. So a good example, the U.S. Bank Cash Plus. I earn 5% back on utilities. So I'll pay my electric bill, you know, $500 at a time for the same $2 fee or $3 fee to do that. So I minimize it as a percentage for the fee that I have to pay, but I'm earning 5% uh, back on that entire amount. So I just prepay pre my bills to make sure I'm earning the most I can. Because uh, the fee is fixed, it's not yeah, a percentage fee. Yeah, it's a fee, it's, it's a... fixed, which is actually really nice. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's cool. It's cool to talk to you as well, because you sort of like, you're, you're mentioning a lot of different banks, you know, like the ones I generally use, Chase, Amex, Capital One, really yep. is what I do. But to hear someone who's using USAA and uh, Bank, um, not Bank of, well, Bank of America, but also US Bank, <laughs> yes. it's, it's very different, right? <laughs> it is, yeah. and I think that's what's great about running a cashback setup. You don't have to be tied to a particular bank's ecosystem. Like if you're in the Ultimate Reward Program, you have to have Chase cards. If you're in Membership Reward Points, you yep. need to have Membership Reward earning cards. And for cash back, I can just cherry pick the best cards that fit my needs and my lifestyle, or anybody can do that for that matter. And then I can just pick the best cards and then toss in new cards as they come along. And so have you got any redemptions planned this year? What are you gonna do with all this cash back that um, you're running? So far, I've actually turned all my cash back and invested in my Roth IRA because I have enough points to travel on for a couple of years. So I'm just kind of being opportunistic. I told you I was working on the Venture X bonus, which I'm just about there. And that'll be used nice. for, for some transfer partners or possibly like Airbnb. But I take the cash back and I, just, and I just throw it into my Roth IRA. And then when that's maxed out, I just put it in my brokerage account for right now. Nice. And any plans for travel when you get that bonus on the Venture X? Oh man, I'm really hoping so. Um, I've been finishing <laughs> to go back international for a while. So probably some, probably this fall, hopefully. Um, my kids should hopefully be vaccinated by that time based on what the data is coming out. And hopefully getting over to maybe Portugal would be great. Nice. I have a friend of mine who really wants to go to Japan for, for um, udon and ramen and stuff. So maybe Japan <laughs> in our future. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I mean, personally, I've just been doing like domestic travel really at the moment because yeah. um, 
so many restrictions as well. Like you go somewhere, you've got to oh, stay inside for 10 days before you go anywhere. So like, so <laughs> restrictions and the fear for me is like, if I'm out solo traveling and I'm like, I got to call my wife and like, hey, I somehow tested positive. I got to be here for 10 days, so good oh, luck. <laughs> that's true, yeah. I can't see you guys for 10 days. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't miss me it's too much. It's a risk. Much. And, and some of the hotels are even now providing, like I went to Mexico and I went to Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos and they offered us um, positive test insurance. That's so really like nice. if you test positive, yeah, you, you have to buy it. But if you test positive, you get 10 extra days in an all-you-can-eat luxury it's, resort. <laughs> it's almost a no-brainer because if you run the risk, like credit card coverage isn't covering COVID-related cancellations, even if you have a great card. So yeah. a small premium, you may need to pay for that. If by chance, even if you were to test positive, like just having that benefit could be huge for people and save thousands of dollars of unexpected cost. I think it's definitely worth it. Totally. Yeah, man. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show of and course, uh, telling us all about the awesome cashback setup. And, you know, those of you in the audience who are into cashback, take note because this is a great setup. <laughs> you can steal his setup as much as you like. Absolutely. Steal um, all you want. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we do have a link for the Freedom Flex, which is one that you mentioned, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in the Freedom Flex, you want to learn more about it, uh, do click below. Uh, check it out. It's awesome card. One of my personal favorites as well. You can also check out Max Rewards, who sponsored this video. And, you know, it's an awesome app to use to keep track of all your different credit cards and see which you're earning the best cashback in which category and all that kind of thing. You can also get a month of Max Rewards Gold with my link as well. So do check it out. Thanks very much, Dustin. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>